I've seen portfolios that the clients have brought in where someone will have a, a Schwab S&P 500 fund, a Fidelity S&P 500 fund, and a Vanguard S&P 500 fund. And it's like, well, they, they think that they're diversified because they have money with three different companies. Right. When in reality, if you buy the S&P 500 index fund from three different companies, you're still, in essence, buying basically the exact same fund, and there's really no diversification between the three. Right. And it, it, along those lines, I ran into... Um, I was in a meeting about two or three months ago, and uh, the this person that I was meeting with had about six different Roth IRAs. And <laughs> believe it or not, they weren't all annuities. Like, you know, a lot of times you'll see that, and it'll be a different annuity that... that somebody some, sold them somebody, something. Somebody, yeah. Exactly. Um, this person was actually in six different IRA Roth IRAs because their answer when I asked them, well, why do you have so many different Roth IRAs? It was, I want to keep all of my eggs. I don't want all my eggs in the same basket. I want to spread them around. But when you looked at all the different Roth IRAs, they were basically invested the same. So yeah. you, know, you had S&P 500 index funds from... American or uh, uh, Vanguard and Fidelity, and then you had the American Funds Growth Fund of America that was in there, and both of the Roth IRAs as yeah. well, or two or three of the Roth IRAs. There just was a whole bunch of overlap, and you had to explain that. Look, while you were at different, while these are at different companies, your eggs are all in one basket essentially because you're not diversified. 